Book Day, everyone. It is Thursday today and it is World Book Day. Now, I know we have been celebrating stories and books all week in our English lesson, but today is actually the day of World Book Day, where lots of boys and girls will be celebrating books and stories. So we're going to play a little game. Now, instead of me reading section of a story for you to guess. I've got some props to show you. I've got some objects and I would like you to think about which story I am thinking of. So you've got to guess the story that I am thinking of. I'm not going to tell you the answer. On a different video I will give you the answers. Okay, so you need to have a little think and then when you've watched the whole video you can watch the answer video. So here is the first one. Which story am I thinking of? Mm. Mm. It's just a stick. Here's another one. This is a really easy one. If I just show you this, do you know the story I'm thinking of? What about if I show you... story am I thinking about? And which story am I thinking about now? Hmm. A few stories I could be thinking about with this character. And I'm going to put a mask on. Now, which story am I thinking about? Which character do you think I am? And which story does this character belong to? What about this character? Which ca story does this character belong to? And I'm thinking of a story. What could it be? What could it be? We'll leave those there. You might know all the answers. You might still be thinking. While you are thinking, I'm going to read you a story. And it's a bit of a strange story because it's called The Three Little Wolves and the big bad pig. Now we know the story about the three little pigs and the big bad wolf, but this is the three little wolves and the big bad pig. So the characters have been messed around a little bit. Shall we see what happens? Let's have a little look. The blurb on the back says, it was time for the three little wolves to go out into the world. So they set off and built themselves a splendid brick house. But they hadn't reckoned on the big bad pig coming along. Let's see what happens. The three little wolves and the big bad pig. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves with soft fur and fluffy tails who lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was grey and the third white. One day the mother called the three little wolves round her and said, my children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go and build a house for yourselves, but beware of the big bad pig. Don't worry mother, we will watch out for him, said the three little wolves and they set off. Soon they met a kangaroo who was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, will you give us some of your bricks? asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them lots of red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of bricks. The very next day, the big bad pig came prowling round down the road and saw the house of bricks that the little wolves had built. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden. 
When they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside the house and locked the door. There they are playing their game of croquet. The pig knocked on the door and grunted. Little wolves, little wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves by the hair on our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teacup. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his sledgehammer and he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only just managed to escape before the bricks crumbled and they were very frightened indeed. Mm. Can you think of some similarities and differences? Things that are the same as this story in The Three Little Pigs and things that are different. Are they having a little think as I read? We shall have to build a stronger house, they said. And just then, they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete in a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete? Asked the three little wolves. Certainly, said the beaver. And he gave them buckets and buckets full of messy, slurry concrete. So the three wolves built themselves a house of concrete. No sooner had they finished than the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of concrete that the little wolves had built. They were playing battledore and shuttlecock in the garden and when they saw the big bad pig come in they ran inside their house and shut the door. The little pig rang the bell and said, little frightened wolves, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves by the hair on our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched his pneumatic drill and smashed the house down. The three little wolves managed to escape, but their chinny chin chins were trembling and trembling and trembling. We shall build an even stronger house, they said, because they were very determined. Just then, they saw a lorry coming along the road carrying barbed wire, iron bars, armour plates and heavy metal padlocks. Please, will you give us some of your barbed wire, a few iron bars and armour plates and some heavy metal padlocks? They asked, they said to the rhinoceros who was driving the lorry. Sure, said the rhinoceros and gave them plenty of barbed wire, iron bars, armour plates and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a generous and kind-hearted rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves an extremely strong house. It was the strongest, securest house one could possibly imagine. They felt very relaxed and absolutely safe. The next day, the big bad pig came prowling along the road as usual. The little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden. When they saw the big bad pig come in, they ran inside their house, bolted the door and locked all the 67 padlocks. The pig pressed the video entrance phone and said, frightened little wolves with their trembling chins, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves by the hair on our chinny chin chins, we will not let you in. Not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, but the house didn't fall down. But the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He brought some dynamite, laid it against the house, lit the fuse and <gasps> the house blew up. 
their little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We have to try something different, but what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo bird coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers, asked the little wolves. With pleasure, said the flamingo bird, and gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. One wall of marigolds, one wall of daffodils, one wall of pink roses and one wall of cherry blossom. The ceiling was made of sunflowers, the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in their bathtub and buttercups in their fridge. It was a rather fragile house and it swayed in the wind, but it was very beautiful. Next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the little wolves had built. He rang the doorbell and said, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the three little wolves by their hairs on our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in, not for all the tea leaves in our china teapot. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down, said the pig. Mm. What do you think is going to happen? Have a little chat at home with your adult. What do you think might happen next? Shall we have a little look? Let's turn the page. But as he took a deep breath, ready to huff and puff, he smelled the soft scent of the flowers. It was fantastic. And because the scent took his breath away, the pig took another breath and then another. And instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant, fragrant scent. His heart became tender and he realised how horrible he had been in the past. In other words, he became a big good pig and he started to sing and to dance. At first, the three little wolves were a bit worried thinking that, it, that it might be a trick. But soon they realised that the pig had truly changed. So they came running out of the house. They introduced themselves and they started playing games with him. First, they played ping pong and they called it pig pong. Then they played piggy in the middle. And when they were all tired, they invited him into the house. They offered him china tea and strawberries and wolf berries and asked him to stay with him with them as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived happily together ever after. So that mean big bad pig did turn into a good big bad pig. I wonder if you can think of some of the things that are the same in that story as the three little pigs and some of the things that are different. Have a little think about that today. And a little activity for you today to do today is to think of a favourite book character. It doesn't just have to be from this story. If you could be any character from a book, any character in the world, who would you like to be? Which book character would you like to be? And then what you could do is try and find some things around your house to dress up like that character. So you don't need to go and buy a costume. Just have a little look around your house for some props and resources. So if you needed to wear a cape, you could find a blanket. You might want to make a mask for your character. If you wanted to be a witch, you could find a brush for the broomstick. So have a little look around your house and see if you can find some things to dress up as your favourite book character. And then if you ask your adults to email me the pictures, and then we can put them up on our wall for when you come back to school. So 
have fun today seeing if you can dress up as your favourite book character just using things that you have got around your house. Have a lovely day, happy World Book Day and when you have finished this video or later on in the day put the answer video on to see if you were correct about our story props. Bye for now, have a lovely day.